good morning or rather afternoon we are now okay for you guys who haven't seen this series before we are now in Tromsø this is Tromsø lodge and camping and it is almost two in the afternoon I've been uh, <clears throat> cut on sleep for two nights so this night I took it very easy slept a lot I woke up a little bit early this morning and then I passed out again so um it is cold outside. I think it's about minus two, minus three. So here you see the cabin we are staying at. It's the mid-sized cabin. I don't remember what it's called again, um, but it's nice. So MCI Hamburg has been parked outside without power. Yeah, there is no, <laughs> the funny thing is that the camping over here, they say that, well, uh, the place here, even the camping spots, they are not approved for charging EV. There is no such thing as approvement for charging EV in Norway. But okay, enough about that. So see, we have several cabins stuck together. We have a little river here. It's nice. I bet it's cold here. Ooh. So this so show you guys the surroundings. Over here we have a little uh, arena. Wow, it's so clear today. This, you know, we came here for the Arctic light. I mean, the, the yeah, the, the, the Aurora. We might not, I mean, today is the one day we will see it. Otherwise, we might have to wait five more days and we'll probably not wait five more days. So this is our chance. If we don't see it, then whatever. But okay, so let me show you now what's happening. Uh, I need to preheat the battery. I checked on the app that the battery is at one degree Celsius. Everything has cooled down during the night. Inside the cabin is cold. But look here, interesting observation is that the car keeps this part hot, I mean, warm enough. You see, the, the cameras, the cameras are heated up. So I worked out that during the night, the car pulled about 150 watts continuously. And also sentry mode is on. Uh, just, I take no chances. We, we never know because there are other people here. And we lost only 3% during the night. So I, I can, yeah, I want to take that one. But now we will preheat the car because everything is so cold. So let's check something. Um, now you see the car is dirty. I don't want to wash it yet. Uh, actually, I might want to wash it, but we have to be careful when you wash it because, because it's cold outside, everything might freeze. But because we haven't washed the car and because there is no crazy moist outside, then the doors, everything worked normal. See, no problem. But once you wash the car or if if it's at rain and then it's frozen, then you have problems. But for now, no problem at all. Whoa, I have 149 century events. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> okay, I think uh, to, uh, tonight we will not use sentry mode. Yeah, we might have to switch it off now. <laughs> I don't know what triggers it. Maybe it was the forming of ice crystals towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, if you look here, you see that um, uh, we have 46.1% uh, um, left. Um, okay, the, I, I had to press the, the brake pedal so the, the light went on. I can, we can switch off the light, by the way. Um, let's see if I do this, lights, headlights off. I think that should lower it. Yeah, okay, there you go. So you see we have no region available. This charge power is low. Temperature in the pack has dropped to 100, uh, no, to one point, yeah, one, one, two degrees Celsius. So it's it's very cold. But interesting observation is that you see here, 46 percent. That's what the car claims. I mean, what the BMS claims. Look here, here we see. Oh, ooh, sorry. Here in the display, it shows you as 41 percent. But if you lower, if you change this, you see that uh, actually five percent is made unavailable because of cold battery. So. You know, every time, I, for you guys who have followed my channel, every time I measure um, a vampire drain, I don't look at this one because many people said, well, you know, maybe the battery has cooled down. So if you park, if I say I parked yesterday with 49% and now we come back and we see 41%, you might be thinking, oh, you lose, you lost 8%. No, actually, every time I did the vampire drain, at least lately, I checked it against here and now we measure 3% loss, not 6% loss. And it means that we, uh, we lost about 150 something watts on average during the night over 12 hours. 
So now it will uh, start the heater and then uh, we see what happens. Okay. Keep climate on. Uh -huh, you see there? We are outside the car now. We have to leave the car and lock it. You see that the stators are running at 7.5 kilowatt and, uh, and also the cabin heater is running. You see right now we are pulling 11 kilowatt. You guys have seen this before when I was in Lapland. I'll just show you again what happens. So now we pull massive power to heat up the battery and the, the cabin. You see that the inlet is starting to rise 5 degrees Celsius now. So this is the wonder of Tesla, that you can, you can do stuff like this to heat up the cabin and the battery while stationary, even without plugging in. And another trick is that if you for some reason want to only heat up the cabin without heating up the battery, then you simply use camp mode instead of keep climate on. All right, we've been charging for about 20 minutes, half an hour or something, I haven't paid attention, but you can hear this distinct humming noise yeah the smart trick that tesla uses on model 3 and y because it doesn't have a, uh, a dedicated battery heater but it actually uses the the motors the front and rear motors to generate a little bit of um, uh, torque friction something and generate heat and then because it has liquid cool system it diverts the heat into the battery so i mean i talked to this before but i'm just telling it because there might be new followers in my channel and another interesting observation here is that you see here we start melting the front windscreen everything here is melted but look here this top here has partly melted compare just just look compared to to the rear glass <coughs> and the rear glass is okay i can't see it here, but the rear glass has no insulation but the front one actually has some insulation <laughs> so you know this means that the, the small modification i did will actually improve efficiency slightly in cold weather because um yeah i put i put some uh, bubble wrap i was going in the bubble yeah the bubble thing bubble plastic and then i also used uh, the i can i can show you here i wanted to avoid opening the Look, yeah, that's what it looks like. But now the, the stator stop, so we have to lock the car again. We want the stator to start. Okay. But I think we are good to go now. Let's look here. Grunkotov charging station. We are going there. We're going to charge and there's, it's a shopping mall there. And we can stay there a while. Yeah, let me see. It's, uh, oh, it's only six kilometers from here. Right, I'm gonna get Wi-Fi and then off we go. I like this view, yeah. We are now at Jekta Storcenter and you know everything here has been planned beforehand long time ago. I checked the map, I check everything, check uh, what kind of stores are here. So I chose this location to camp here because we have, <laughs> look at this, very impressive. In Tromsø by uh, Grønkontakt they have four 50 kilowatt fast chargers. We have some people charging here. Let's check how long have these cars been here. Okay, you see here, this one has been here 20 minutes. And what about the other one? The other one has been here 23 minutes. Yeah, so these guys are not camping here. But I chose to charge on AC. I mean, I could use the DC, but you know, we, we want to camp, stay here a while. I don't want to rush back. So, um, funny thing is that they, they actually, it actually says here. Oh, huh, oh, really? Flexi charging maximum two hours. Okay, okay, we'll try to be back here within two hours. But uh, not everyone cares about uh, uh, the charging spots. Look here, we have uh, 
a fossil car blocking one of the AC is not a big deal, I guess, but uh, I'm just, I don't like it, but okay. So let's, let's show you now. So now we charge on AC and I chose AC because I want to cut, cut down on the DC intake. So if we switch off the heater, again, it would, would be nice if I had 22 kilowatt onboard charger. If there was a way for me to get it, I would gladly pay for it, but we don't have it, but okay. So all good. And now we would just stay here in this shopping mall for a couple of hours, I guess. Okay, here it is. Chayo, chayo Thai chicken. Uh, thai, thai kitchen. All right. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. All right, let's check out the menu. Oh, this, this seems to be Thai people. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, the food is here. Wifey went for um, a duck, duck noodle. It's great. It was Tasted so great, superb. And then for me, I went for uh, pad kapow with egg. Mmm, yeah. Let's dig in. Oh, that was great food. There's actually lots of restaurants and stuff to do here in this, uh, this shopping mall. So wife is shopping now. I came up here on the, and this is the top floor. And uh, you see, it's just five in the afternoon, but the sun has already gone down. Yeah. Uh, it goes down even earlier in the midwinter, but I want to show you guys the the view here. Look at this! Wow! If there's one today is the day we can see Arctic. I mean, I mean the the uh, the, the aurora. Wait, is that the bridge? Huh? Oh, that's another bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're here. I'm a little bit confused now where we are but uh, that looks like the iconic bridge but it's actually not it's the other bridge we um, yeah the city the city is behind this mountain over here yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, the camping place is over over that mountain oh look, look oh let me try to catch let me do a little uh, ninja work here oh look at that oh like a boss yeah da -na -na. Na 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 Can we go any closer? Yeah. No, no. Okay, okay. If we go too close, it's a bit hard. Na 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 The airport is right here. Wow, that view though. Noise. It is now seven in the evening and we have actually been here at the, cent the, the shopping mall for four hours. So um, it's time now to get ready for Aurora tonight. And then I was thinking, hey, what the heck? Why is this Toyota parked here? Is this a self-charging Toyota? Actually, they didn't get the self-charging option. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so we've been charging here. Yeah, and wow. They actually, right now, all the four uh, fast chargers are occupied. So I have to say that it's, it's uh, quite busy around here. I saw it earlier also. Um, so if you go inside, see that uh, I've done the preparation because during the day we, uh, we were slacking and spent some quality time with Wi-Fi. We charge up and then about half an hour before we came here, I started preheating everything. So the battery is nice and warm, cabin is nice and warm. And the plan now is to drive to the north over there. It's supposed to be dark there. And um, yeah, supposedly the, the, the aurora is getting closer now.
2.40 at night now. We've been shooting all night, but I think it's time to leave. Yeah, it's still some, some aurora, but it's getting weak. So, and it's late. Yeah, so let's get back now. Oh man, I love the light upgrade. Everything is so bright here, look, compared to before. Now see, there's a small problem that the, the backup light is not very bright. And we had to back up uh, out of the marina. But I think I found a trick for it. You see how this flashlight is pretty strong and it has a magnet. Okay, so what we do is we just put it here, I guess. Wait, let's, let's put it here. Wait, here? Okay, here. <laughs> wait, wait. There, there, there. Hang a little bit downwards. And then we turn it on. Where's the button? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like a boss. Oh, hang on, focus. There. Wow, this is way better. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. A little pro tip. If you need extra light, just bring one of these. Uh, it's called old light. We are now back at the cabin. Oh wow, it is 3.18 at night, minus 5 degrees Celsius, and we have 39% left. We charged to 92, wasn't it? But we actually drove a lot, 155 kilometers. Uh, a lot of lot back and forth. So um, let me show you, by the way. Wait, oh, it's a bit, uh, okay, okay, if you do this. Maybe we can switch to the map, yeah. So, uh, the best spot we found was around here-ish. Let me zoom in here a bit. Okay, we went past there and we found this, there. We found this marina here. What is this called? If you search for Schittenalpskole, roughly, you should find that marina. That seems to be the best spot for us. Well, it depends, of course, what you're looking for, but so we did drive a little bit back and forth. Actually, we went there first time and then we came back here and ate and did some restocking. And I forgot my extra battery and went back there, went over there and then here. We also went here in the beginning, so it was a little bit back and forth, but that's fine. I, I don't think I need to run uh, Sentimo tonight and actually have an update. So we are probably fine. Uh, tomorrow we will have probably still 39% and we can always just go and charge again. At I think we don't need, yeah, we can charge with 90% this time. Yeah, so that's, that should be good. But anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. Tomorrow we will just chill because it will be cloudy and I think we have enough uh, aurora footage now. So, but still what, more episodes coming. So that's it for now then, hope you guys enjoyed this video, as always thank you for watching and talk to you later.